Viruses are agents that invade using a host cell. There are two pathways that a viral body can take in order to infect a cell. These are the lytic cycle and the lysogenic cycle. But today we will be focusing on the lytic cycle. The lytic cycle is a process um, in which a virus invades a host cell in order to create more viral bodies in order to infect even more cells. There are five stages that make up this cycle. The first stage of the lytic cycle is called attachment. In this stage, a viral body goes to its host cell and attaches to the surface of that cell. The virus can then move on to the second stage of the lytic cycle, known as entry or penetration. In this stage, the viral body releases its own nucleic acid, which can be either DNA or RNA, into the host cell. Next, in the third stage, called replication or biosynthesis, the DNA or RNA of the viral body is replicated inside of the host cell, and viral proteins are also made. The virus then moves on to the fourth stage, called assembly. In this stage, the virus's nucleic acid becomes coated in the viral protein, called capsid, and new viral bodies are formed inside of the host cell. Then it transitions into the fifth and final stage of the lytic cycle, called release. In this stage, the cell undergoes lysis, which is the process of the membrane being broken down by viral proteins or osmotic pressure. Since the cell undergoes lysis, new virions can be released since the membrane has bursted. These new virions can go and attach to other cells, restarting the lytic cycle again. These five stages make up the lytic cycle which is used by viruses to infect organisms.